else. I'm tired. I feel it for over five to six hours in I'm crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emmy. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I've done for a semester. So actually, the works that I will show are not about art history. It's just about studio art courses. So last semester, I was taking six courses in total. So three of them are about studio arts and two other uh, art history and also one is Macau history. So my major, um, which is fine arts at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, is actually focused on uh, both Chinese art and also Western art. So we can take various courses like sculpture, pre-making, figure sketching, experimental drawing, and maybe some courses about exhibition curation. Some are like art history courses like Buddhist art, Asian art, um, Japanese art, Korean art, and tons of different things that you can choose. But bear in mind one thing, is actually my uh, major, they mainly talk in Cantonese and they rarely talk in um, English, but it depends on the professor, like it depends on um, what kind of native language the professor have. So here's a little disclaimer, I the work that I'm going to show right now was actually not really good and I'm just gonna um, share it for like for fun for entertainment so i'm going to show you the work based on the difficulty that i think yeah i'm gonna start from the most easiest one okay so the first one is watercolor so basically for watercolor course the main point of this course is actually just teaching you some basic um, watercolor skills and techniques so like um, flat and gray wash blending basic steps of watercolor special techniques wets on wets using transparent and opaque color watercolor color pencil and marker and also like topics about watercolor against oil and wax on chinese paper mineral pigments on paper but i think this course is really teach you how to think how to really think like an artist so to summarize we have to make seven watercolor paintings under the skills that the professor had like taught us and two other is a more like a personal um, artwork based on your exploration through a watercolor this thing it's like you have to make a theme for the self-exploration part and make your own watercolor work so i'm going to show you my seven painting first for uh, just um, using the watercolor techniques that the professor taught us so this is the first one so actually most of my watercolor painting um, are based on the photo that i took so it's more easy for me to um kind of like making it to a drawing so i try to use watercolor to draw the basic like kind of like background color of the cats and for the detail something i use um copic markers to add the furry effects on the cat um sometimes i use a masking fluid but it didn't work very well so it just looked like very rough and not fine line so i remember my professor said maybe you should blurry the background and the cats more because this looks like kind of like separate so the second one is this one um for this one it's actually more like a landscape watercolor but to be honest those paintings that i did were actually kind of random and kind of like not really serious so yeah and this one is depicting a scene from San Francisco, the Pacific Ocean because I was in San Francisco like last year and it's based on the photo that I took last year I remember like on January because I was um, visiting my uncles in San Francisco so I just think that Pacific Ocean is so pretty and so stunning and I tried to use a sponge to create like a cloud effect he right here and i just feel like this one it looks like someone did it from elementary school so i don't like it okay so the third one is this one so i draw like a twin and some freckles here and try to use more like fine line and brush to draw the hair and the background is more like a pink uh, pink background So next is this one. It's also like drawing um, a woman um, who is floating on the ocean. And actually nothing to say. I just don't know what to say for this kind of very boring watercolor drawing, just showing the technique, something. Um, for this part, it's more watery. And sometimes I use also Copic markers to add the details, maybe like the clothes and the hair or something. So yeah. Next is this. So this one 
can you guess where is it? So this picture or this painting is actually drawing Cuba. So I think Cuba won't snow, but I don't know why I just put something right here, like the that like the like the white spot something, and try to create like a snowing effect. And I, I just dispute it. It reminds me of the capital of Washington DC. Like a vanishing point, can you see? Like if you are like learning vanishing point, you if you know what vanishing point is when you like make a point here and all the stuff just gonna like line up and going to this point. So the, the building and other stuff just like going to appear from a more bigger size into more a more smaller size i guess everyone knows it and yeah so this part i try to use some so-called um special effects and watercolor and i use the salt so when the watercolor is still dry um you put some um you put some watercolor um pigments inside here and right up here and before it dry you put like tons of salt here it's just gonna create like an effect like crystal something Next, this one. So it's actually pretty, like pretty boring, I would say. So nothing much to say here. And I, th I guess the, um, actually the original painting should be, um, like red leaves and not the green one. But, but I change it, and the problem with this painting is also like too crowded. And I feel like it's not watery. It can show the traits of watercolor painting. So I think most important thing, if you want to draw better watercolor, I guess you gotta like control, know how to control the pigment first. If you can control it, you can do whatever you want. So you, you can make better watercolor art. So it is the last painting of the, those seven paintings that I made for showing them skills of watercolor and it's also ocean i don't know why i like ocean so much yeah at this part i try to use them more like a tissue something to create the cloud effect so when the watercolor is still um wet you can use the tissue to kind of like doing this you're just gonna have a cloud effect so this is the first watercolor painting based on um, my own personal developments throughout what I learned from this course. And to be honest, I, I just, um, I remember like last semester, I skipped almost all of the watercolor courses and I just do it by my own and I didn't really learn the skills that the professor taught and just, I just want to speak it like secretly. No one knows that, okay? I, I don't want to explain too much, just look at this. And the size is um, the previous watercolor um, painting, like the double size of it. So you just can see like there's like two. I want to draw two kind of like naked girls and they're just like um, being so close together. And, and I just, yeah, so this is how it looks like. And I just want to make a more similar painting to this one because this is, this is the... Um, um, kind of favorite one from those seven watercolor drawings. So the second painting is this one. Also using the same um, pink, pink background and more watery. And this part is also like kind of like a twin, or I want to say maybe this is herself. But like there's like two herself. So yes. So the closer look is like this. Okay. So only for watercolor course, I have to draw seven watercolor painting and it's actually very time consuming. And so last semester, I was really like stressed out. That's it for the watercolor course. So right now, I'm going to move on to the next course.